What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Find some bills, baby. Find some bills. Today, we got seven modders to talk about, including big updates from 82 Studio, customizing JHHG, and a couple more. So, let's check it out. Starting off with the mods and testing, and it's been two weeks since our last list update, so let's see if I still remember how to do this. Today, we have 79 mods on the list, 62 are in stage one or PC testing, and 17 are in stage two or console testing. Some notable mods in PC testing include old and new Gen 4 Harvester sounds, Case Puma 200 CVX Series Tier 3, and Lazy Acres and Eureka farms. Also in PC testing, we have Flat Rack Containers, TLX Service Pack, Titan Tank Containers, and Lizard Colossus Harvesters Pack. Rounding out PC testing, we have the TLX 2022 Series, 3-Point Gooseneck Receiver Hitch, Chessboard, and Quick Bail. Jumping down to console mods and testing, we actually had two that were hiding in the PC list, the Adirante R200A and Seeds add-on, but we had plenty on the console spotlight at the bottom, including the Atco Harvester's Pack, Cookie Factory, and Massey Ferguson 3700 AL Series. And finally, in console testing, we have some other notable ones like the Massey Ferguson 5650, International 46 Series, Oceanside Forest, and the Lizard Turntable Ladder 2312cc. With all that being said, we still have 104 mods that he waited to be tested, which is the lowest we've seen in a long time, and with the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods at about 8 workdays. Jumping over to modern news, 82 Studio has some updates on mods that he's got with Giants right now. So far, the TLX Phoenix Series update, the new TLX Service Pack, and the TLX 2022 Series update are all in testing right now, at least as of early this morning. As for the new TLX detachable towing unit, aka the DTU, it was still pending testing at the time of the screenshot, which was about 12 a.m. Eastern Time last night. If you've been waiting for the tow truck mods and updates to support them, this is the entire list. Oh, and of course, the 2022 attracts. Yeah, that's on here too. Next up, let's talk about something that custom modding have offered for a long time now, but we don't really talk about it maybe once or twice a year, and that is their project status board. This is available in a public Google document and shows the latest status on everything they're working on right now. For example, we can see the next four mods on the list heading our way for all platforms, the Degelman Strawmaster Pro, the Bowmetal Max Track Duratec, John Deere 7R Series, and the Challenger MT800 Series. So if you're ever curious, hey, what's the status on this mod from custom modding? Well, you can find it right here. I will leave a link to the file down in the description for you guys to check out and add to your favorites. One exciting thing that they did tease with this screenshot was their John Deere 7R with the caption, will we have a new mod this week? Does custom modding know something we don't? Well, we're just going to have to wait and see. And if you can't wait, you can also check out the 7R in its entirety in the mod preview that I released about two weeks ago on it. Also link below. Moving on, Hispano Modding is working hard on his Universal U650 tractor, showing more work on the engine and frame with tons of detail down to the smallest bolt and wires. He shared a lot of different angles of this work, so definitely check him out if you want to get a closer look. Now that their planters are done, Servertex is working on the Tandem Pack for Planters, aka the Lizard Tandem Series. This is to complement their new Penta line planters that we've been talking about for the past few weeks, but will be universal, allowing you to use your favorite small planters or cedars or any other implement in tandem with each other. They're also adjustable, that way you get the perfect fit, and of course, come in a few different shapes and sizes to fit most needs. Double the working width, half the work. I love it. 40 Mining have a small update for us today on their Bruff and Brown trailers, mainly the branding on these. They do say the Giants do not have the branding license yet, so all the trailers of that brand moving forward will have to be Lizard. Not a problem, as the trailer itself is still the same, just without the name. And that rhymed. This is good news. The trailer will now be with Giants waiting testing for all platforms. Next up, JHHG Modding has released the extended PC version of their John Deere 612C, 712C, and the 616, 716 Cornhead updates featuring new rust effects, which are on PC only, and the Kelderman Corn Reel, which is actually coming to consoles. The rust effects are calculated independently of wear and will rust faster when exposed to inclement weather like rain. This is a bit of a game changer for FarmSim 22, and I cannot wait to see it in action. And lastly, we've got a small update from Hawks23 on Aussie Farms 22, saying that he's having a hard time getting the traffic to work on the map. However, multi-terrain angle or MTA is a go. So that's great news. And I like to share good news here as well, like the podcast. It's going to be back tomorrow. And just like every episode of Farm Sim News, like Monday through Friday, links to everything we talked about can be found in the description. And you can check out the entire video in the form of a news article on farmsimnews.com. Thanks to Yo's Modding. 
Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure your notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. We said, hope you have a great day. We will see you you like I've been asked to get an update on the watch tan line here you go